Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's been having a good day. I, for one, has had a chaotic day. It has been a absolute nightmare, I think. But that's only because I've been dealing with some all sorts of other stuff, so. But that's not why you're here. You're here to see what kind of partnership I have. Or well, as you can tell, right here, I'm with Midnight Games. That's right, Midnight Games LLC from the Springs has decided to partner up with me for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's because of good lucks or because I finally be able to talk them into doing it. But either way, we have finally uh, came upon an agreement of doing a partnership. And the best part of the partnership is you guys get to see all sorts of unique material out of it. What kind of material? Well, I'm talking about some Dungeons & Dragons magic cards. That's right, Magic the Gathering, the Forgotten Realms, the d, &D set. I have here in front of me, uh, I have actually an entire set boosters for it. It is absolutely insane that I actually get to do this. So, um, they're going to let me open this entire box for you guys tonight. So, uh, it is definitely going to be a fun night. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to it, too. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, here is their Facebook page. Um, uh, trying to get all comfy here. Just jumped in. This was supposed to be a stream that was supposed to happen at uh, um, 11.15 originally my time. But it uh, was got pushed to noon. Which then got started just before 1-ish. Did a little bit of live stream. So if you guys saw my uh, live stream on my mobile phone. You guys got to see a preview of the store and the store is really nice actually it is really cool um i just wish i was able to open the cards there but from there computer crash car crash chaos crash i mean it was a crazy day uh, i am definitely glad that the day is pretty much over and i get to open this entire thing for you guys so that is what's tonight's plan i will not be doing video games tonight um, I may do them on Saturday night as a way of making up for it. So, other than that, our uh, goals are basically wrapping up for the first one. The micro goal was today. Unfortunately, we did not make it. Sad. Um, but that's okay. Uh, the Raiders can still try to hit that uh, smoke streaming goal of a thousand before uh, by thousand followers by October fifteenth. And of course, I have a dip goal that I don't think is going to happen because I only have like two days left. I need something to cut open this. But, digress. Hopefully you guys are going to have a good night, uh, fun time with me. So let's just jump right into it and get opening with these cards. Uh, that is not uh, the correct company for that. As you can tell, this is completely unopened. Better stabby stabby toy. Better stabby stabby. I quite literally just got this right before they closed and they said, go ahead and get home. Go open it up. Relax at home because it's been a chaotic day. And it really has been a chaotic day. So, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, uh, of course you gotta love the uh, artwork. It is kind of cool. So they've been doing from uh, the drops and previews all week long, so we kind of have some ideas of what we're gonna be seeing. Either way, I'm still excited. We're gonna tuck them right up there, and you know what? I don't even have my uh, cat on here today. Uh, it's been a, kind of a last minute thing, so we're going to have just to kind of wing this today. So let's kind of, I kind of like to see what kind of boosters they've done for for these. And they've got the, the wizard, I got a human, and a blue dragon. So that's not too bad of a nice uh, mix to indicate what they are. Let me actually get this open. 
I, don't, I almost don't want to open it. I want to make them last. But that's not why I'm here. We're here to open them up and to check them out. So come join me and come see what we got. And they have the free cut uh, tear to it too. First pack. I can't get it open. All right. Trying to check the, uh, what's going on on the screen. That is our art piece. All right. We got our uh, swamp. We've got the alternative artwork. It actually feels a little bit thicker. And that is the plump worm. And from there, you found the villain's lair. Minos Katinas, Colin Ordered, Ray of in, uh, in, <laughs> in Feasible Monk of Open Hand, Red, um, whoops. not even paying attention to who was what. So those three are the come. You can tell tonight's gonna be a fun night for me. Uncommon is the Ray, Monk of Open Hands, Rally Maneuver, Power Possession, and Red Dragon. Got our first token as a zombie. Our rare is the Werewolf Pack Leader. And then Kick the Door is going to be the first foil we have. Bill Stick. Yeah, it's just a little bit thicker. Still not too bad. And we're gonna kind of just pile them up on the rarities for now. And all that fun goodness. So if you guys got any questions about the cards that I'm pulling, if you guys want me to kind of read out some, uh, some of the other ones, explain some fine print, let me know. Shoot me a message in the comments and I will definitely take the time to explain it. I am here to be able to kind of explain what the hell's going on. So, Oh, cool. All right. So here's the artwork of this one. And then on the back, it gives you the stats. I, I saw that they were going to be doing this. And uh, it actually looks really cool. So that, that's cool. I do like that. Land the DD artwork of the gargoyle, and then we got Modicans, Polymorph, Bar the Gate, Secret Door, all your commons. I can spread this out a lot more. Trend Nord, Demon Fang Gone, Lonesome Troll. Burning hands. Interesting. It's I they shuffled the packs because they also had the uh, Dawn Brigadier uh, and the Spike Pit common cards behind Uncommons. And the, uh, I don't see any special out of them. Ah. And the one card I know I want right off the bat. Uh, Tushin's Hilarious Laughter. This is going to cause some trouble. I know it's going to cause some trouble. So, I know I want that card. And this Place of Beast. Now, I don't know how, if you guys can really see it, but that foil does an amazing job of giving the illusion of having, like, three of them in there. So it did a nice job. And I'm trying to see something on my mic. So you're going to have to move down. There we go. Cards are going to go off. Off. Screen a little bit. And we got our first dungeon card. 
this is definitely one of the three dungeon cards that we've seen the dungeon of the mad mage so uh you'll be able to kind of keep track of where you go whenever you venture into the dungeon on the back is a goblin so yeah it's basically tokens so i'm hoping to see more as i open up packs i'm hoping to see more but we will see uh, but that is definitely the first one we've got So already I see one card uh, we're going to be talking about. I'm like, hey, you, you know, maybe can you kick it my way a little bit? We'll just have to see. Oh, I'm realizing that camera's like way up, plenty of high. All right, yes. Second creature one. The mana core. It is, I mean, that is really nice that these are actually becoming more functions. Okay, there is a land, and there is the Evolving Wilds land card. That's really cool. That's definitely different. You know, it gets your attention real quick. Take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, a huge jump. I mean, that gets your attention real fast. So, that's cool. So... Double check, make sure they're somewhat in order this time. Spoils of the Hunt. Pointing Oak. Earth Cleric Element. Keen Ear Senator. Uh, Senator. All commons. Right? That thing's annoying. Just playing it against it in Arena. And I had a spell that I had to do, but then I realized it wasn't a hex book. It pissed me off. Split the party. Pardon the, the Baudron Kate. Demogonos Clutch. Are you on comments? Long rest is your rare out of this one. And then we've got our first planeswalker. She is uh, Zala, our stick of Amas. I'm really bad at names, can't you tell? Anyway, uh, she's four to play. Creatures so you can target plus one, plus zero, gain taste at the end of turn. Zero, you get to create a devil uh, when it dies to do one damage. And six, you get an emblem at the beginning of the first combat turn. Untap, talk to creature you control. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. So, that is our first planeswalker. And then we've got ourselves a foil of the artwork, Blink Dog. Which I know some people are looking forward to having that one. And another dungeon of the Mad Mage. Three packs in. Not a bad pull so far. Definitely want to give a huge thank you shout out to Midnight Games for A, the understanding of this kind of chaotic day and not being able to do this at their store. But B, also letting me be able to do this for you guys at my studio house so i am very thankful for them to give me this opportunity to do this uh for you guys and for them so thank you so much midnight games the uh dragon turtle now there's one of the guys i follow on tiktok that just complains to how little this guy uh was in the cards i will see what i can do it's good seeing you thanks for so, so much for stopping by uh death sleep is a wonderful thing and i guarantee you this may just be a short stream because i need sleep too i've only had two hours in the past uh 36 hours almost 48 so go get some sleep uh you can definitely check out the stream uh video later on to see everything i pull 
got a land card and uh chattering skeletons okay i have to admit the colored backdrop for the different types of color uh, um, different elements is really cool cheers mate so i have to admit that the purple for the swamps is really cool it really makes it pop Dumbage Cleric, Priest of Ancient Lore, Lore, not Love, as I'm trying to read it, and the Unicorn, make sure there's no other, and they are, they do mix them, that is just weird that how they mix them. I wonder if that's just because of certain creatures. Uh, Belfour Beholder, Boots of Speed, those are your commons. Another one that I heard a lot of complaints on that they kind of did dirty on of the creature types and his power and all that stuff. I mean, everything that I've heard is that pretty much D&D &D did not get a good representation in the magic card. That is basically what I got, especially from this one guy. It's just D and D just got dirty, and it's it's disappointing if that's the case. But I think they did do a nice job on a lot of things. There's a lot of interesting creatures and phrases and everything, but I, I don't know if they got done dirty. But I I, I grew up with the magic more than. Learning uh, Roper, Trella, uh, Trella Moon Dancer, and we got our first class card for the Cleric class. Now, I gotta read this. The, the, the flavor text, you see, uh, static ties go down from selling, well, strategic mites Reach, ah, and then he flies off. They they have fun with some of these uh, the flavor texts. I are rare is a dancing sword. A uh, file is thieves tools. Creature cannot be blocked as long as it has a power as three or less. Ooh, I know a few places that could be used. And another Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So far, we're only going to be in the Mad Mage dungeon. E -e 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 -e. Hey there, Trekkie. Good to see you jump in. Lands have been actually not too bad. Uh, they're actually some pretty nice scenic artwork. Um, haven't got any of the mountains or the islands yet. Um, they get an evolving wilds, though. So that is actually really cool to see how that one actually turned out. So Lands haven't been too bad. All right. Oh, the gate. We have that one. All right, you have the regular card. All right, this land is actually a foil. Indeed. Uh, that's another nice little land foil. We're going to put it with the foils. Our D&D &D artwork one is the Pixie Guide. Which I've heard some interesting ideas that they can create lots and lots and lots of trouble. Alright, let's see. Okay, everyone's in order. A. Grongerva? A cat is our token. 
token legendary cap, I should say. Veteran Dungeoneer. The Gloom Ostaka. Devil's Torch. Chaos. Oh, uh, sorry. That's on the Try to make sure I get them all in the right rarity. Chaos Chandler. Iron Gloom. Magic Missile. Wandering Tribunal are all my uncommons on this pack. And then our rare is the. Oh, you guys can't wait to see the next one. Uh, the uh, Force One Paladin. That's not the one I'm smiling about. Shop's gonna love me. Tamat. Tamat has been pulled. Looks like uh, uh, Felony just missed it. This this is the one of the big ones. Huh, ironic. Uh, we we got the bar of the gate uh, foil with the the artwork. But anyway, back to this guy. He is a seven drop, two colorless. Five colors. Legendary creature Dragon God. Flying. When he enters the battlefield, if you cast it, search your library for up to five dragon cards not named him that each have a different name and reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle. Yep, can cause some major trouble. So, that is a nice pull. That's a really nice pull. Do, do, do. Definitely a nice. This is a much better relaxing moment of the night than the way my day has been. So glad you guys can join me on this. And plus, we get to open up booster. Right, there's our artwork. So far, no signature artworks yet. Here's a swamp and a Bon Clan Undor. Multicolor is our DD card. Check for rarities, make sure I got all the rarities in order, which they don't. It's really fascinating that they don't do that. Uh, our token is an emblem. Lilith Queen. Spider Queen. So we haven't seen her yet, but we at least got the emblem. Frozen Dwarf. Swarming Goblins. That looks like a good one for a goblin deck. Uh, Pono's Fireball. You hear something on the watch. An inspiring uh, bard. Those are your commons for this one. Well, I just noticed that my foils are going off screen. Let's pull these guys back in. All right. Uh, check the check for traps. Portable hole, which I could have used earlier, and bag of holdings. Check the trap looks interesting. Uh, I mean, look at the ki little kid in it. Mostly a mutual agreement. Uh, I mean, you might be able to get away. I mean, come on. I'll, I'll, there are people that do uh, the proxies. So, I mean, I can see it being kind of accepted. But most of the time, not normally. But it, it, it might be. 
you could probably have that on top of the regular car. Westgate uh, Renegade. He's a vampire. And his ward is to make you discard a card. Oh, an inspiring bard for the foil. Two of them in a pack, one shine. I lost track of where I was. On this one. Do do do. All right, our artwork. Oh, ain't that cute? Little hamster that caused so much chaos. Here's a uh, first mountain of that artwork that we get to see. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, the lands each have phrases on them. They actually have flavor text on them. You venture deep into the heart of the mountain to determine what can claim uh, its quaking rage. That's what that one has. Direwolf Prow is going to be our D&D card. And check for rarities, which is off. Eh, we'll call it up a rare on this one, too. Fairy Dragon. Oh, look at that. Nice little sh to that screen. Bike Pit Trap. Contact Other Plane. Pixie Guide. Improved with uh, weaponary is all your commons. Rust monster. That's like any vehicle, uh, biggest nightmare on any coast. Uh, Ingra Smith. And plate armory are uh, all your equipment, uh, all your uncommon equipment because I got a smith and an armory in one. Yeah, that's one on my list. I'm gonna try to get to get too. All right, adult gold dragon and true polymorph. Are my two rares. I believe two polymorph is going to be one of those big ones because it is target artifact or creature becomes a copy of the target artifact or creature. So that's going to be nice. And then our shiny is a golem hunter. The the foil makes it looks like green and yellow. So it's kind of interesting. Now, I haven't checked any of the prices on these, and as you see, I usually have my uh, big scanner so you guys can see the cards up close, but um, I have a new layout, so um, they did not get added in yet. I have to do some detail work, but that's okay. All right, we got our first signature. Here we go. Not bad at all. Same land. Feel it. Is our D and D card. Quick check on all this. Everything is in order. All right. Potion of healing. Steadfast uh, paladin. Devoted paladin. Are your comments? Only three in this pack. Moon, Moon Bless Cleric. Uh, Demogol's Clutches. Divine Smite. Plate Armor. And the Moon Dancer. Are all your uncommons. Yes, I'm just going to do say that. We all know what it is. 
Now, we got another one that I know someone uh, complained about. And we got a mythic. The Trosquick. He is a 9 to play. Legendary Dino. Um, has haste and ward 10 as long as it was cast. So if you cast him from your hand, you need to have 10, 10 mana to target him for any spells. Whenever he attacks, it fights the target creature defending player control. He's a 10-10, by the way. Uh, when it rises, nations fall. Another one that got I got told that uh, that got said on videos that was not big at all. Uh, wasn't big enough. I think he's cute. Circle of the Moon Druid is going to be a foil. And we finally got another dungeon. Tomb of um, Elmlish. So that is the second tomb that we have. Does not look like we're going to get any other tombs than the three because. And it just is, it's disappointing. I mean, that I think is the biggest disappointment I have. For magic. I know that you're experimenting with it, but come on. Give us more than just three. At least five. Especially, I mean, especially, I could tell from this. That's a darker one. So that's more like a swamp. That has green to it, so that's more like a forest thing. And I believe the other one has hints of red. Give us all five colors. Give us all five colors. So that we can have this nice variety because doing the same dungeon again and again and again yeah maybe beneficial uh because we know what uh what the plan is for but i mean that's that's it so i mean it kind of is slightly disappointing i'm right oh uh, artwork we, we got this card another mountain different mountain the unicorn is our D&D. &D. See if I need to rearrange cards. And I do. Okay. A uh, wolf is a token. Which is nice for armor on there of the wolf. And here we go. Ranger's Hawk. Felon Alley. Face reveals here's the evolving winds for just a normal print and those are your commons your uncommons we've got the wizard class sudden insight clenching pitch willow and check the traps what we got so far and I, I know another one that people are gonna be looking for treasure chest it's a trap that's if you roll on that one and then our file is the scaled herbalist So far, not too bad. Is there anything that people are actually looking for? So people got, I mean, Tony called out for one card for me to pull, and I pulled it. So, is there other ones that people are kind of hoping to see? So I fight with these. They give you the cut to rip them open, and it's just in. Hell no, we do not mind someone coming down Wednesday and spending the weekend uh, hanging out with us. Yeah, you got a thumbs up. Well, folks, it looks like I'm going to have KC coming back onto my stream. Uh, we all know that he's a little fun and chaotic, so. Look, I uh, can't wait to see you back here to get you back on stream.
fun. Yes, I am trying to get you on that high it done to the hiring path because that means I could try to talk to you into staying down here. <laughs> but good, I'm glad you're going down. Uh, another character card. Blink Dog. Swamp. And the Glunch Titch Willow is our DD card. Yeah, I got a first mini game. Magic and minions. I should hunt down all the mini games to kind of go through them. Pattern shield. Plus two mace. I wonder what that does. Twelve hold champion. Veteran dungeoneer. Those are all your common cards. Chucky, hopefully you just saw what KC says. We're going to have guests down here on Wednesday. Good it. Raptors Talisman. And Lightfoot Rose. I really like uh, Raptors Talisman. And I really wish my camera was a lot better at showing these. I mean... You can kind of see a little bit better there, but not as much. But I just, I love how that card looks. I would buy like five of these just so I have at least one to cut that out. Uh, anyone that does 3D printing, that would be something that I would be actually really debating and buying. Because that is really cool. I would love to have that. So if anyone does the 3D printing, I challenge you to make that. And our first rare is the Sorcerer's Class. And then the other one is the Eye of Vakan. It's really sad that, you know, I recognize most of these cards from the previews because people have bitched complaining about them more than about how cool some of these are, or the artwork, or any of that stuff. I mean, that's really how it is, is that I see more about hating these cards, and that's how I remember them more than enjoying them to enjoy them. It kind of sucks, but you know what? I mean, we all have our opinions, and the internet lets us share them. Blazing Dwarf is a foil. I've completely lost track of which uh, row I'm on. So, yeah, actually, you know what? I've been really happy with the pulls so far. I mean, the fact that we pulled the Dragon God is awesome. I know that it would be nice to have it as a foil, but I'm still happy. These are still pretty good cards. Boss of the Creature card is what we are pulling for the artwork. Lane. And the Undark Blessing. Nice, simple, dead touch creature. I have found that they have really shuffled these cards in here. So they're not all straight, uh, uncommon commons together. You actually have to kind of pay attention. Spider is our token. And here we go. Leather armor. Great axe. Uh, armory veteran. And the Shemlin uh, Gust. Those are my commons. Check those talisman. That definitely looked interesting. That would be a good one in a foil. Because it gives you that uh, two hand look. And I think the foils will make it look really interesting. Uh, Feywa Trickster and the Power of uh, Persuasion. Oop, and the Bag of Holding. Got those as all your uncommon. Uh, 
Uh, foil is the Pixie Guide. And our rare is the Gelatinous Cube. Basically, you engulf someone and then you can go, okay, bye, and poof, it's gone. Really interesting so far. But I'm going to have to do a quick little stretch just to kind of make sure I'm not sitting here and hunched over this entire time. So just hang tight. All right, here we go again. This is a quick break. Nothing really exciting, nothing real major changes. So one thing I noticed on the other, uh, on the uh, Modern Horizon 2 that uh, I was putting in cards on my database and I noticed that they had some cards with Bushudo again. And Bushudo is every time they block or become blocked, they get a plus whatever, uh, like Bushudo 2 plus 2 plus 2. And uh, I really like that. I like Bushudo because that's a set that I've actually really liked. And would love to have more Bushuda stuff. That and Nijitsu. Nijitsu is another fun one that would just be fun to randomly have. Well, we got the cube card. Now we got the cube artwork. And it's a D&D &D artwork too. I didn't realize they were going to do the D&D &D artwork. So, that is very interesting. It's 81 different artwork cards. Uh, our land is going to be a foil. So it's going to go into the foil party. And our D&D uh, &D card is a Mimic. Of course they're going to have the Mimic. I mean, come on. It's D&D. &D. If they didn't have the Mimic cards, it'd be uh, unfair. Ooh. Oh? Okay, as you can tell, I've got something a little bit odd at the end. So, Twitter Skeletons, uh, Pershing Drop, Summy Org, Pearl Harden, all, all your common cards. A nice good set of black there. Fifty feet of rope. The druid class. Wild shape. That looks interesting. Huh. One instant. Choose one until the end of turn. Talk a creature you control. Has the base and power and becomes a creature type and gains that ability. One three turtle with hex proof. One five spider with reach. A three three elephant with trample. Interesting. And Link Dog. Alright, and another one that I I like, I uh, have complaints, is Wish. That is going to be a rare card. It is, and it has a cute couple little dragons and a uh, horse in the fire. So I can't wait to see this one as a foil. I'm sure it's going to be really beautiful and really in demand. Speaking of a foil, there is the Vampire Spawn. And why I went, eh, is I didn't realize they're going to throw in the list. Uh, Relentless Rats. Or oh, could I use this one? Um, did not realize they're going to be throwing in the list card. Um, I, I, I hate the list. I... I uh, the reason why I hate the list is because you look at this card and go, huh, you've got a 10th edition card. Cool. And then down at the freaking bottom here is the little tiny planeswalker symbol. And that is the only indication that you have the list. Um, it's like kind of uh, the reason why it bugs me is kind of like Time Spar Remastered and Modern Horizon 2. Both of those. They changed the logo just a little bit. Time, uh, Time Spiral just had the simple hourglass. Time Spiral Remastered tilted it, so it's sideways. 
and Mon Horizon 2 is the diamond, whereas the original one kind of had that the V and then or the odd shape. So they actually had slight variations. So you know what the additions they came from. This one, you, you have this little tiny thing here. And, and when you pick a card and you kind of go like this and kind of look at it, all you see, all you do is go like this. You don't see this bottom corner. So it gives an illusion like you've got something kind of nice, but you don't. Let's throw that piece. You know, they give you that rip to try to open these, and it's still is shit. There we go. Alright, here we go. The artwork is... Looks like we're on the lands. Plains. We still have not seen an island yet. Uh, the Matacor is our d d Do my ready check. And they stood up, of course. And the Magic Minions minigame. And here we go. Grim Bounty. You came, uh, you come to a river. Uh, Dujamir Win Seeker, and Arctic Investigator, and Scorn Subjugate is your commons. Good blue set there. Bonero Battle Hammer. Choose your weapon. And Black Dragon. Let's not talk about the color dragons because I've, I've heard so much negativity on it. And then we've got the uh, Arturak. The Oxalic, Zami, Wizard, as our Mythic. Our file is the Skull Port Merchant. Now, so far we have not gotten any rare foils yet, so. Gotta love set boosters. I want to keep you right on that edge. Each yeet and the mimic, and not just the mimic, it is also the actual player card. Only in challenge, too, looks like, but beautiful artwork. Really nice artwork. And we got to see our first island finally. So check it, there you go. There is the island. It looks like in a cave. In crystal shard waters far below the surface, you discover an uh, incurring egg of mystery orchard. Hunting bugbear bug bear is our D&D card. Do the check. And oh my lord, that is a nice one. First dead card. You'll see why I'm like, oh my. Bridge of Death. The Manicor. Square Dagger is all your commons. The Displacer Beast normal card, or even the normal card looks like really fancy other than just the 
how it looks wealthy. Uh, the Kellen Realistic Painter and the Port Merchant. These are going to be your uncommon. Okay, so not just do I have one. I don't just have two. I got three rares in this pack. A foil is, you see, the god approaches. Shoot. Alright, our first rare out of this one is the Paladin class. Our second rare is a land, which could be good, could be bad. Hive of the Eye Tavern. And continuing on with classes, our uh, other rare is a Rogue class. So, three, uh, three rares in that pack, not too bad, not too shabby. Definitely, a, a Thursday night is my definitely a little quiet night. Get to talk to myself a lot. Yeah. That's okay. When Gemini with ADD, I'm used to it. The bag of holdings. That is the artwork. I, I, I kind of say I kind of wish it didn't cut her head off in half. I mean, I understand you're trying to get all the bags goodies, but yeah, I could have seen that differently. Forced. And our first borderless blue dragon. So it is not part of that. So let's go that. I don't know where. Yeah, we're going to go right here for now. All right, here we go. The Elgrad Rager, Suffolk Spry, Charm Sleep, Shortcut Seeker. Here's your commons. A blue dragon, would you like a friend? I think you need a friend. How about a white dragon? And the dragon, uh, Discipline. Oh, and you know what? Well, let's go ahead and give you the Temple Dragon Queen. And when I uh, Dispatch Beast. A fitting. Four dragons in one pack. And then we are rare is the uh was the Arch Friend. The Devil God. You happen on a glade. Is our foil. And another list. Air element. Air element. Alright, let's see. Let's put the blue dragon. Well, let's put it with the planeswalker. So far, only one planeswalker, which is not all that they're doing. And these are the amount of good rares. I mean, we're going to have to check the prices, obviously, to see which ones we majorly pulled. But... Alright, our artwork, we've been playing with them for generations. It is a goblin, and it's actually a stat one. Challenge one through four. Crazy goblin. Flames. Aloe bird. No, sorry. Owl bear. Owl bear is a D and D card. I'm really curious why they did the cards like that. 
I mean, you go through it, you're like, okay, come, 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 and I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, come, and I'm coming. Why, why is that one back there? Just weird. I mean, I understand Strict Haven when you put the, like, uh, yes, uh, lesson up front, because I was slightly different, but uh, it was, uh, I don't know. Weird, I say, just freaking weird. Secret door. Un dark. Uh, Balsic. Uh, comply it dual. Bullet. Uh, all your comments. Prosperous innkeeper. You meet in a tavern. And Wim Wanderer, and we got the Temple of the Dragon Queen again. I love it. You meet in the tavern. I, actually, this is kind of fitting. It's like all three of these just fit in. The Prosperous innkeeper greets you. And as you come in, you decide to meet in a tavern as a party. And as you sit there in the tavern, you meet a grim wanderer. You'll wonder how many D and D um, dungeon matches are gonna just shuffle a magic set of these cards and go, okay. And uh, you come upon a, uh, you see a card coming, or uh, you meet in the tavern, and they just read like whatever they have in front of them. And I can see that happening. The grim wanderer tells you about a temple. That is dedicated to Dragon Queen. <laughs> I are rare is an inferno, inferno of the Star Mount, another dragon, and I just said it, and it just happened. Got a first rare foil, Yontin Milson. Nuisance guy. And we have the veteran teacher from the list. I don't need to go over the list again, so. All right, now I'm back on pace on which packs we're doing. I think they just gave me these packs because they just wanted to be challenging. Gould is our character card artwork. Forced. Belfour Beholder. Like right now. Common, 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 a common, a common, a common, common, a common, and a rare. And I just don't understand why they just do that one in. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh well. Circle of the Moon Druid. Boots of Speed. Do Rapier. Or Dueling Rapiers. And the. Hoblin, Hoglin, Captain. That's why I'm not going to be a Dungeon Master. Because I can't say some of the names of these damn goddamn creatures. Element Mine uh, Sorcerer. Furtish Devil's Chosen. And Barbarian Class. Power Word, Power Word Kill. Try to talk at non angel, non demon, non devil, non dragon creature. Can you be more specific? Non angel, non demon, non devil, and non dragon. And Paul of Storm Giant is our rare.
Potion of healing is a foil, and our token is just a simple little treasure. So guys, what do you think? What do you think so far of the cards? You got any I need to kind of backtrack, kind of talk about, explain? Let me know in the comments. Oh, stretch, pop. Oh. Yeah. All right. One side, two side, pull. There we go. And now it's done. Now that's cool. The artwork of that one is cool. Uh, planes is a foil, so we can foil. Displace a beast. Piece of ancient lore. Hired hex, hex, hex blade. Goblin jeweler. Valor singer. As you walked along the road, you are ambushed on the road. And as you swing, you make a uh, critical hit. Grand Thief, Keen Ear Sentinel. And we finally have our second Planeswalker, Grand Master of Flowers. As long as he has seven more loads of tokens, he's a seven seven dragon creature flying indestructible. The most annoying part, talk a creature without first strike, double strike, or vigilance cannot attack or block until your next turn. I had to go up with this guy annoying as all hell because he kept doing that. Holding Orc is our foil and the Marvin Water er, while Reclaimish is the Woo, we we're going through the packs doing okay. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys not to understand. I'm trying to give you guys a chance to kind of see all of these cards, see how what they are, and kind of get ready for this set. I mean, it seems like a really exciting set. I'm definitely excited. So, I know I got one follower that is really excited. She ended up winning a couple boosters a couple nights ago, and uh, we made a trade deal that instead of boosters, she's going to actually get a pack to learn from, from this set. So, I know she is very excited for it. So, you never know what I end up giving away. And there's that bird, or uh, that owl bear. Mountain. All my piles of chaos. Dungeon Wind Seeker. Okay. Scare Herbalist. Never with a uh, druid. There's the owl bear again. Minister uh, containment. Hill giant hergor. And comment is the uh, Hammond Pusher uh, root seeker. And as you explore, you find some prisoners. Um, uh, Edgerton, 
Apprentice. You know, I totally screwed that one up. That's okay, you don't expect, you don't uh, come here to see me speak normal English. Hobgoblin Bennett Lord. Good one, definitely, for a goblin deck. You find a cursed idol. I thought that was just magic. That is your foil for that one. And the stone giant is from the list. We've gotten a lot more from the list than anything else now. Like the back of this pack is nothing but the list. Okay. Almost got a clean, clean pull on that one. Fire Skull! <laughs> cool. That one's a character card, and we got a Swamp Foil. Another Weather uh, Druid is our D&D card. Also something else that we haven't got a rare in yet. Okay. Vampire Spawn. Yantin Fangblade. Thieves Tools. Fort Robber. Uh, almost such a good dragon's tail. Speaking of dragons, you now got the green dragon, the wandering tribunal, and as you are enjoying the sounds of that music, you happen upon a glade, and on the, and one of those trees, you happen to notice the hunter's mark. Okay, now I'm just having fun with all this. I gotta have some fun. Uh, Skeletal Swarming is gonna be your rare. Your Moon Dancer is our foil, and the Goblin Lore is from your list. Yeehaw! Voila. Uh, just because I'm just slightly de you know, lack of sleeping doesn't mean that I'm not functioning. Function fun functional. Shut up. There's more artwork. Yes, swamp. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant is going to be our DD card. All right, Thumper. And our treasure token. Square Dagger. Where you find a cursed idol. In doing so, you go and hire yourself a hired hex blade to go deal with the mimic that has a grim bounty on it. I am just having fun with the card's names. I mean, I have to admit, it is. This is a little bit more easier telling the stories than the Trek Haven, which has a lot more of the school ones. Still expect a uh, video of uh, someone going through the school cards of like the freshman to uh, senior year high school. Intrepid Out uh, Outlander. You see a pair of goblins. And as they see you, you do a battle. Uh, they do a battle cry goblin. Goblin! <laughs> oh, 
Aurea is going to be the den of the bugbear. Be interesting to see. And Portable Hole is off oil. All right. My cat's coming to say hi. That all support me one of the two. Or tell me it's time to feed him. Another option. So guys, this is a reminder that this is all thanks to Midnight Games. Oops, I need to point like I hear. Midnight Games LLC. They are a really nice little shop in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I do highly recommend them. Uh, the guys are really awesome, really chill, really laid back, really supportive too. Um, I, when I was there, they actually had a kid um, that just comes in and plays video games for hours. So it, it was really nice to see that support. So I also encourage you to be able to check out all my social pages, uh, social sites to see what's going on. That's where you, where you'll get updates on my schedule too. If anything major changes like today's chaos. So be sure to check that out. Open palm monk. There is a force and the painter is our DD. Yes, I peek ahead. Devouring intelligence, which is the brain eating your head. Shambling gust. Deadly deception. Swarming goblins. Those are all your problems. Goblin uh, Morning Star. Hucking uh, Bugbear. There's a Bugbear. And a Tiger Tribe Hunter. And Chaos Chandler. Well, I said we haven't had it yet, and it looks like it finally came. We've got our first DD rare card. Volvo. Guided, guide to monsters. I'm gonna put it, put it with the rest of the D and D stuff. Here is the uh, uh, Rapier's uh, talisman as a foil. Again, if you are a 3D printer and you guys can make this, I will be freaking amazed, and I might actually buy it off you. Cause that is just cool. I seriously, I will put it like, right here. Right, I uh, right into the stream. That is just cool. And from the list, we have Pack of Negotiation. It's like the only one I think actually might have a little bit of value, even from the list. So I know that is a strong card. We are down to eight. Eight packs left. Now, if you guys happen to take a look at my name right there on the social page, you'll see that there is a nice little tiny icon there. That is the one of the bonus little icons you get for subbing either any of the tiers or for several months. You get yourself basically a little magic card next to your name. So, if you guys are considered about wanting to support, definitely consider about subbing a little bit. Hell, even give a sub is a big thing, too. There is the beast, the lodging beast. Really nice job on the outlook on that. I really am impressed by it. Okay, we got the unicorn again. Check, check, check. And we're off one. But 
that, oh, that's a good way of slapping me in the face. Uh, Prince of Loyalty. Vampire Spawn. Inspiring Barge. Uh, Citadel. Uh, Sephiroth. Those are all your commons right there. And comments got split party. Uh, Cradle, the Bubbles Gate. Check for traps and define smite. For our rares, we've got the uh, teleportation circle. And for our foil, it is a rare D&D card of the Jurassic Cube. Now that is a pretty cool foil with the purple back on the top. So that's really cool. And I have to make space because we finally got the other uh, other dungeon. The Lost Mine of Fun uh, Fadalo. We got all three dungeons. But once again, I am disappointing that there are only three dungeons. It is just, just disappointing. I know, I know it's just, I, I, you know, it's not just me. There's a few of us that are like, why only three? I mean, I know you want to try it out, but come on, at least give us like two more. Strong opinion. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. All right, let's see what else we got. Here's our artwork for the night. Forest, and we've got our next borderless black dragon. So far, two dragons that are borderless. Not too bad. I Hopefully, uh, I don't have that many packs left, but who knows? We might pull some more out. Fate reveals hill giant have a find the path clever uh <laughs> kajiga clever kajiga we pull the artwork it's another one of those boosters that actually have the card in it lie i thought it's just yeet was that fleet 50 foot rope, a gargoyle, and the Brian Quinn uh, Undor is your uncommons. Ow, 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 claws. Keep it cap. Eh, don't, don't touch it. Now, here's another one that I know people are going to be looking for. It is the Interventional of the Bards. Beginning of your upkeep, put a harmony counter. Such a library for a creature with a mana value equal to its number. Now, that's definitely, that's definitely a good one that I know a few people are going to be hunting for. The Hobgoblin Captain is going to be our foil. And we've got that dungeon once again. Down to six. You can almost make this a two hour. Two hour stream doing these packs. I also be more active if I just was a little bit more awake. Caffeine slowing down. Juicy. There's the white dragon. There's another island. The skeletons is our D and D character. And out of place. Nice. Spider is our token, 
And here we go. The Jitter Winsburn, Spectre Gloom, Price of Loyalty, Unexpected Windfall. It's all your commons for this one. Hunter's Mark is the Blue Dragon, and a Purple Worm. Color is important. Always important. Mission of the Might is the first rare. Second rare is the Oswald Fiddle Bender. And the third one is Rogue Class as a Foil. Getting to the end. It's not as like dramatic as I made it with all the Japanese cards I had. Beautiful artwork of the land, island, and another involving winds as your DD book cover. Check, check, check. Reshuffle. All right. Goblin uh, Javelin. Scaled Herbus. Air Cult Element. Ram Shield Frost Giant. Shocking Rip are your comments for this one. For your uncommons, we got the uh, Barwin of the Clan Unden, Dungeon Crawler, and Death Priest of Micro. Are your uncommons? Comments, uh, comments. We finally have their. Dragon Turtle. The skeletons are once again shiny, and we've got Heaven Jewel from the list. And I think this one has a lot of high value to it, but it is so nice to see rares. Yes! Okay, that was a fail. Let's try it again. Yes! You don't have fun opening boosters. You're just in it for the money. Mimic match. Huh. Oh, and look at that. There is our big guy, and it is a creature card. Hemorrhage. We got the artwork with his stat. Challenge 30. Huge guy. Planes. Rimshield Frost Giant is our DD card. Double check these ones. Alright. You see a god approach. Gloom Stalker. You come to the Gloom Camp. With Goom Hunter watching you, the half elf monk goes up and says, Hi! Portable hole, bag of holdings, and rust monster. Portree gel. Jelly is our rare. And our foil is the Paramount, the Modern Kinsen Paramount.
last three. That's it. That's it. The last three right there. It might have been a short journey, but a journey nonetheless. This is d, d obviously, so it is always a journey. Last three, here we go. You guys should see it. See, I have a whole pile right here of uh, just booster sleeves. That is it. That's all I have. Uh, these sleeves just piled up high. Information from other realm. There's another island. That one looks really good. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I, so far, I like these cards. They've been really fun to, to look at. So I think it's going to be really good to get a, I can't wait to get a box. Uh, I am going to get a draft box for myself because I really want that promotion card. Um, which I have not seen that artifact yet. Of course, I will point out if I did. Just pick in case it decides to show up in the sand. Um, but yeah, we'll be definitely looking at more uh, booster cards and uh, what I'm going to get for the draft. Kind of the uh, Gate is a D and D card, and oh, well, yes, everything is ordered in this one. You find a cursed idol, Silver Raven. That's the first one we've seen of that one. Plunging a barbarian, and that is it for the rares, uh, for the commons. Wow! Wow! Talk about a face slap there. That means I'm definitely tired now. There's our smith with the plate of armor. The Borgora battle hammer. The iron gloom. And the intimate outlander are all your uncommon. August Prince of Under is your rare. Swarm of Goblins is your foils, and there is the Mad Mage for the dungeon. That's how that, see, that's how you uh, puzzle pull that down, nice and smooth. It looks like a genie. Yeah, the Lady Genie. Definitely different genie than we're used to. Same island that we just got as a foil. Now we're going to go with the foils. We got the, the Metacore again as a creature. Yeah, that's going to be a nice one. Treasure token is over there. Deliver us torch, which is really good. This thing definitely is a big boost on my arena, so I was glad to have that one. Full strength, you see a guard approaches, you kick down the door to escape. The guard hears the ruckus and begins chasing you. So you use the power word kill to knock him out. Okay, I'm done. On that part, does Death Whisperer is Dex, and your Warlock class is your Uncommons. Uh, rare is 
uh, sphere of animation. And then we've got the Icing Death Frost Tyrant. Which gives you an artifact that will freeze from your creatures. But that's all, another borderless. And a Golem Hunter is the foil. So. This is it. The last pack of the Forgotten Realms. Are we ready for the final journey? Shall I roll for initiative? That's what I should have been doing. Rolling dice all this time. But that means I would have had stuff planned. Final artwork. So we only got one signature card out of all of this. Swamp. Underduck. Ballistic. And. Alright, here we go. Final cards. Deadly Disciple. Uh, improvised weaponry, jarred cell sword, dragon's fire. That is it for your commons. Dungeon map on my list of cards that I want to make sure I have, because you can pay a three tap adventure into a dungeon. I mean that's huge. For, uh, for this set that is coming into the dungeons, that's going to be a huge one to have. There's the Red Dragon, Ray Frost, and the Battle Hammer are all your uncommons. I don't know if we got all the dragons or not. And for our last rare, uh, yes, Poyo is not a rare, is Ranger Class. Oh, that is kind of cool. I like that. It's like a bag. That's kind of cool. I, I like that bag. Our files is you see a pair of goblins. And then we finally got another tomb. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have now entered the Forgotten Realms world of d d As you can tell, there is definitely still a lot there. A lot of cards out there. We only pulled two Planeswalkers and three Borderless cards. So it's uh, a little disappointing we didn't pull that, uh, that many on that stuff. As usual, you get your crap total of commons and uncommons. Of course, I'm going to have to double check the prices on some of these to know which ones are being the high dollar value. But we did pull a pretty decent amount of cards out. So I say it's pretty good. Pretty good uh, mix of everything. I didn't see any double sided cards uh, at all. So kind of a park. I, I wouldn't say that it was a bad thing to have them. I mean, Kalheim did really, uh, sorry, Zendikar Rising did a really nice job having them. Kalheim had a great time using them uh, as the next step, and Strickhaven kind of took it over the top. So, um, kind of glad for the break. I, I will take the break from them. As I'm beginning to kind of just grab everything, we've got all, we've got all three dungeons. So that is some really good news, uh, as we got all three dungeons, but again, it's, I mean, these are all dungeons right here. And we only have three types. And um, the good news is they flip them and you've got skeletons, goblins, and uh, the art folk. But it's still, it's, 
That's one. There's your two and three. Three dungeons. I could have at least one more with this many dungeons pulled from these boosters, so. I, I think that's going to be kind of the talk for the most part is not enough dungeons. And since we got the list, we actually pulled uh, a couple good rare cards out of the list. I don't know how bad the value drop is for them, but I know it can be really bad. Artwork wise, we did uh, had a really nice mix in the artwork. Um, really surprised that they are they did the artwork for D and D. I honestly was not expecting that at all. I just expected all the simple artwork that we've had. And then, do I already pass? I think I've already passed it. There it is. There is this uh, signature one. And then uh, of those, if I flip on the other side, because you can tell it's easier on this side. Actually, good chunk of creatures. So, these are just all simple artwork. And then all these are creature card stats. And I don't see any doubles. So we did not double on any of the artworks at all. Um, I know we doubled a little bit on the D&D cards. And I did see, I mean, these have been really cool. This different style, I like. I, I like having this kind of just, just unique artwork, honestly. So I'm very much glad that we are able to have these. So these are really nice. Really, really nice. And there's the evolving winds. Let's put them together. And someone took the thought to think, you know what? We've got all these land cards. Let's actually put some um, Dungeon Master's phrases in there. We expect it to meet hostiles uh, down in the ancient ruins. But they fled long ago. What doctors here could have driven them out? I mean, that's just the swamp right offhand. And each one has their own flavor text. So, that that's really cool. I know a few people that are going to be collecting those specifically because of the flavor text. And then, out of all of that, I have three mini games. And only one advertisement card. That's it. So out of all of this, I mean, out of this entire poll, I say this is not bad at all. Overall. For all the little stuff you get. Um, now, I'm going to check the value of these and see how they did. So, you're going to have to, unfortunately check out my Instagram because that's where I'm going to be putting the information on how good this poll was for of the rares, mythics, foils, all that stuff. So you're going to have to check out my Instagram uh, Instagram page for that info. Why? Because I'm tired. I want some sleep. Not because I don't enjoy chatting with you guys, but it's because it is definitely late. So to find all my social stuff, be sure to just click right there on the link and definitely check them out. Now, once again, I want to give a huge shout out here to Midnight Games. They are a really great place to check out. Now, I know if you check them out right now, you may end up trying to find their main web page, which I, of course, would recommend just going to their Facebook page. Now, that might change. I might be able to kind of help tweak a little a few things for them so definitely check them out they are a really great place really great guys 
that loves games that loves enjoying the magic and just loves giving people that environment of being able to play so definitely check them out at some point if you are local do take time to go see them they're really cool you can tell them about uh but tell dave here sent you there to uh say hi so But other than that, tomorrow night, it should be just a simple, normal stream. <laughs> normal. It is Friday night, so I'm expecting technical problems. But the way this day is going, it's not going to be as bad as today. So, should be okay. We're going to probably have some new stuff up there to uh, redo so that we can actually have some new goals. I do have another giveaway going. It is the 25th sub goal. And you get Voltron. Do with that. So, but on the mat Saturday night, it's going to be kind of a free for all. We'll see if I'm up for magic or some video games since I didn't actually do video games tonight. But definitely check out my social pages, be in touch, come on back. Hopefully, you've had a great night. If you are having a good time, be sure to hit that follow button or hit that sub button. And definitely uh, uh, feel free to definitely for that support. So it is going into Friday. I am absolutely tired. It has been a very long day for me, unfortunately. But I am very much glad that Midnight Games allowed me to take these from the store for them to sh let me show them off to you. So huge shout out again to Midnight Games. Thank you so much. I am so excited to, for this partnership and I can't wait to see where it takes us. As for everyone else, definitely stay in tune. Uh, we'll keep up to date. We'll uh, let you know when we're doing streams with them and what else is going on. So until tomorrow night, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, I say be safe. Don't get into the funny pages. And if you do, please make it one hell of a story. Okay. Um, and... I have to kill all the Woo, and I go black. <laughs> you can tell I am so on top of everything today. Can't you tell? Oh. I can't wait to actually have a cold one because I think I'm going to need a cold one. The good news is I had most of this set up earlier. So all I have to do is one, two, and three. And we're set. So once again, try not to get to the funny pages, but if you do, try to at least make it a good story. Because if it's not a good story, then it wasn't fun. Be safe, and I'll catch you later on tomorrow night.